Hey, this is Heather Martins, and I'm going to give you a beginner's lesson to Aweber and setting up your list, your lists, and your getting your forms with your code, so you can provide the code to somebody else if they are installing it on your your blog or capture page, or so you know how to do it yourself. So here we are. It's going to log into the account, and I've got some other stuff on here already, but just to, if yours is totally fresh and new, then then you won't see. Um, a lot of all this other information, but so what you're the first thing you're going to want to do is create and manage a list because it's going to just give you a default one with a bunch of numbers on it, and you don't want that. You want to actually have organization. So create a list, and here's where you want to name it. And all members of I of uh, a Weber, you, you can't have duplicate names so you have to come up with something original so let's say um heather heather martin's blog ln blog so woohoo list name available and you saw there too it uh will give you a suggestion for names or if you want you just can put a number beside it or something but it has to be something completely original so here you can put the description. So Heather Martin's Island blog. Then you know where it's coming from and it helps with your organization when you're sending out messages to people, then you know where they opted into your, uh, your form. So here you wanna have who it's from. So your, your name, or you can have a company name or whatever you're setting it up as, and an address. It doesn't um, allow you to have free email addresses, so like Gmail, Yahoo, AOL. So you're going to want to have an actual email address from coming from your domain. And if you don't know how to do that, then I can get you a video. Just contact me and I can show you how to do that. I'll uh, actually I'll put the link in in the description of of this video as well. So and then contact address again you have to have a physical address with a postal code. You can't have um, oh PO boxes are permitted. Okay, so if you don't want somebody to know your physical address and you have a PO box, then you can do that as well. So it's just to, to show that you're legit and everything. So notifications, you wanna put this in here for when somebody opts in. So actually what I usually do here is I put the same name that I have my list of my blog. So I know what the list, where it's coming from when I get a notification. And then here you can put your Gmail. So you will get notified right to your main whatever, Gmail or whatever your main email address that you use if you don't always use the one from your, your uh, website. So you save those settings. And here, next, next step, you want to put your company name if you have one, or I just put Heather Martins and your website URL. So martins.com I like clicking and pasting the URL then I know I, I don't screw it up and then you can have here whatever if you want to put uh, some contact information or just a nice little message you can have your phone number whatever okay so let's leave that out for now and then here you can upload your photo. You want to have a smaller photo because this is what they're going to, I'm not going to do that right now. It'll take too long to find on my computer, but this is what they're going to see when they opt in. They're going to see a picture of you. So you want to have a, a small photo of yourself or your logo, and that would be good. So I was going to find this one, but that is pretty easy to do. So you can do that. Uh, social media sharing. I personally, I had I had this set up for some other lists I was doing 
and but I don't use it anymore because I personally like to control what I'm posting on my social media. So I just and I wasn't liking the way Aweber was posting it to click on a link that goes to a full page. I don't know for some things it, it works really good. So t I would suggest testing it out and see if you like it. If you like how it works, um, me personally, I I don't use it. And global snippets, that's a whole nother advanced thing. So we won't get into that right now. So save the settings. Now here is your confirmation. Okay, so you can use one of their default ones. Um, this is where when, if you're familiar with uh, subscribing to other email lists, you need to confirm that you want to receive these. So this is what they'll see. So confirm your subscription. So you can have it so it shows their first name, whatever first name they've entered in there, then that's what they will get when it's emailed to them. Uh, or you can you can add your own here. So if you want to say um, e email was just added to our list, please. Confirm. So that would be in the um, email title, but uh, I'm not going to use that one. So here, I would just leave it. Confirm your confirm. Just a simple simple message. So here as well, you want to um, personalize this. So we received your request information from H M I L N blog. People will be like, "What? What is that?" So Take the list name out there and say from Heather or don't say from Heather. It's not from me, but you know what I mean. Put your name in there or wherever you're, you're wanting them to say that it's from. It's not a group. Um, just Heather Martins from, from Heather Martins. Okay, so just make it personalized. Uh, you can add to it. If you, a great thing to do that you can um, go through ones that you've opted into and see what their message is and you can go off of that because some people come up with some really clever things. And then this will be in their email that they will have to confirm. And then here you can add, looking forward, you know, just to, You can add something really fun there. And again, if you want to add their first name or whatever, you can add that there. So it would, be, it would say, Susie, looking forward to sending you great info. You know what I mean? So there you go. Um, require opt-in, yes, success page. Okay, this is where um, once they've opted in, you can redirect them to something. So for instance, if you want them to go to an affiliate link, this is where you can put, put that in there too. So say your homepage for ILN or where, wherever else you'd like to redirect them to. So you go to your affiliate login. And then you go to your links and home page that would be a good one to redirect them to or if you want if you are capable um, you can actually make on your blog you can actually make a page like a whole new page that that would come to their blog come to your blog and it would say thank you for con for confirming welcome to my blog, which would be actually a, a really cool idea to do. So you can do that. So whatever, you can just put whatever link in there. So let's just say that I did that. So I have my, my blog link. So you save those settings and there is your list. Okay, so that's your list. Now what you're going to want to do is your sign up form. And this is what you need for the banners on your 
your blog. So like right here, the opt-in banner, or down here, this opt-in form here. This is the information that you're going to want to set up. Okay, so sign up forms. So here is where you want to put the form name. So I would put, um, uh, say, ILN blog banner. So I know where it's coming from. You don't need to enable Facebook because there is no Facebook opt-in on here. So you don't need that. Then the thank you page. Now this is where you want the custom custom page. Okay. This is where this is the important part. Okay. So this is where you want to go get your affiliate link. Okay, so you go to your your affiliate office and get this is where you want them to redirect. So your home page or if it's for GRN and you want them to go to the discovery page, those are the two that I recommend. So this is where you want to just enter it in there. And then that way, after they fill out this form, that will take them directly. They will go to, oh, this is the new capture form that uh, Vincent and Clifton made. Okay, cool. So that's awesome too. So it's two steps there, but that's okay. So they put in their email again. And then that takes them to the home page, which would then link to your affiliate link. And you would get credit for it if they purchased right then and there. So that's cool. So then if they've already subscribed, I would still have a URL in there because when they've already subscribed, you don't want them just going to a page that says, you've already subscribed. And then they're like, well, what did I subscribe to? And they don't even know. Always have them redirect to something. So you can have them go to your blog. So just on the second one, maybe you want them, want them to go on a page of your blog. So a, about me or something like that or something that they're not already on. Just make sure that they're re redirecting to something that they're not already on so they don't just start cl clicking and think that uh, it's not working. So then you save your form. So that's all good. Go to step three. So this is now where you will click, I will install my form. You can also have, uh, if you want to, if you're working with me and you want to just send it to me, you can put my email address in there and it'll send me the, the code that I need, which is super simple and easy to do. Or this is the code that you want to provide or yourself, if you're filling in the information yourself, this little short code here, you will just copy and paste it. So when you are in your... dashboard, and you're in your opt-in banner. This code right here is where you paste it. I'm not gonna do it right now because then that'll screw up this one, but that is it. And then if you want to, if this, this should come up name, and this should come up email, and if you have the phone number on there, then that will come up as well. So that is it for Aweber as far as uh, setting up your, your lists and your, and your sign-up forms. And then after that, you can have a follow-up message, which is really good to do. You can create a follow-up message so that when, when they have opted into your list, they get a nice welcome message email from you. 
and then from then on 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 you can just create broadcasts follow-up messages are a series of ones that you can um, have set up to trickle out so like once pre pre made ones that uh, you can send them out like every couple days or once a week or something like that uh, broadcasts are messages say you have something exciting to share some news some new news so you can create a broadcast with a message to them blog broadcasts are when you make a blog post it, you fill in all your blog information here so your url um, RR, rrss feed and it will and you can do a little uh, design template and everything and it will pull your latest blog post so every time you make a blog post it will get sent to that particular list as well automatically you can uh, you can set the time so how often send immediately um, you can go through all that so that's that's advanced things that you can have set up as well with your Aweber but uh, yeah so enjoy your forms and your lists and it's pretty simple if you just uh, do the basic things with it and it's really important to have to, to build your email list as well and keep in communication with them. Okay, cheers. This is Heather Martins. We'll talk to you soon. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or if you're getting stuck in a spot. Okay, thank you.